All right. So let's go on to the final. So this is we do we do advantages, right? This is definitely advantage Notre Dame. So this is certainly certainly a a uh, a positive for Notre Dame. So let's get into the final matchup. The final matchup is the Notre Dame scoring offense against the Notre Dame score against the Georgia Tech scoring defense. And so when you look at this, this is a matchup that I see and, and, and I've, I look at it and I say, hey, listen, again, huge advantage for Notre Dame. Notre Dame had been slowly ascending in points per game. They went down after only scoring 28 against North Carolina. Uh, yards did go up, obviously, a little bit. They've gotten a little better. They've gotten better in the red zone. They've gotten better in third on third down. They're protecting the ball in the first half and they're rolling. And they get sloppy with it in the second half. There's really not an area that I look at and I and I feel like Georgia Tech really can compete with Notre Dame. So this is just more evidence that this needs to be a game where Notre Dame comes out and really steamrolls Georgia Tech. It's an opportunity for them to really pad their stats, but more importantly, continue getting to a rhythm because that's so important when you go into the postseason is, is what kind of momentum do you have? What kind of, of energy are you playing with? Uh, what kind of fire are you playing with? All those types of different things. And, and Notre Dame has a chance in this game to really take that to the next level. And we're going to see if they if they can do that. And that's that's going to be a big part of this matchup. So when I when I look at Georgia Tech, I see a team that gives up a ton of points, a team that gives up a ton of big plays. They're not good in the red zone. They're not real good on third down. Uh, they're, they're not good at you know turnovers gained. They don't force a lot of turnovers. And these are all areas where Notre Dame has been somewhat ascending or at least stagnant in recent games. So this is a this is an opportunity for Notre Dame to really come out and be successful and have a big game and, and, and really compete and get after it. So, um, you know, that, that's, that's kind of where, where, where Notre Dame, where Notre Dame is. So, I mean, this is definitely advantage Notre Dame. Again, we talked about it at the beginning of the show. This is not a good defense. This is not a team that Notre Dame should have any problem with. This is a team that Notre Dame needs to come out and, and be sharp and play fast. And they've got to figure out a way to get them sort of going early. You know, and look, Tommy Reese is, knows what it's like to play in a senior day. He's now coached in several of them. You know that they're not gonna, they're not gonna be sharp. So you need to make sure that you come out early and you design some things to allow your offense to get into an early rhythm, right? Uh kind of go after you know, with quick game, you know, maybe some easy throws, some screens, you know, try to get your running backs out on the perimeter. Don't don't just come out and kind of just do what you do necessarily. I mean, you always do what you do, but you just have some creativity to it. Because what you need to do in a game where where the emotions can be a little bit different than normal, which is what happens on a senior day, what, what you need to do is you need to find a way to sort of initially simmer those emotions, change those emotions. Get your team into an early rhythm because what can happen is, and we saw this a little bit last year, is Notre Dame came out against Syracuse and they just weren't sharp early. They just weren't able to to really get into a rhythm. They they took some shots, they turned the ball over, had some drop passes, and they just never got rolling. And they just kind of out talented Syracuse in the second half. This game, you want to come out and start fast, right? So you want to just do some things to try to change the emotional focus, right? Get it off of the amped up, the senior day, the the different energy, the different. Because again, football players are creatures of habit. Senior day is outside of your habit because you're not just, you know, because usually when you, you get to the locker room, it's okay, I got nothing else to worry about. Well, on senior day, you go through all the warmups and then all of a sudden there's this big pause. You get introduced, you see your family, it's emotional, your mom's crying, your dad's super proud. And, you know, it's, it's a great moment, great opportunity, but it's not something where it's so different than what you're normally used to. As coaches, you have to figure out something early to say, how can we flip that script? How can we change that? How can we get that kind of get that going and and say, hey, let's let's get their minds off something else. And then what can happen is if you're not sharp early, if you're not making plays early, if you're not getting after it early, then that emotion kind of builds that negative energy kind of it's not negative energy. It's a different energy that turns into negative energy if you come out and you're not sharp early. And so for Tommy Reese, the key is going to be, how can I come out early and create some opportunities for early success? So, you know, let Jack Cohn get three or four early completions. Let Kyron Williams kind of get some, some stuff going. You know, get get Kevin Austin going early. Get Lorenzo or Braden or Mayer, whoever your, your game plan is going to be built around. The key being getting the quarterback in a, in a nice early rhythm.
I think those are the keys to, to having success. And then once you do that against a team like Georgia Tech, it just comes into a situation where it's, okay, they're going to realize quickly, like, okay, we have no chance. We, we have no chance. We, we, you know, we thought we could try, um, and it's just not working. So I, I think that's kind of where you get into it and say you, you start putting successful thoughts in your players' minds and start putting doubt in Georgia Tech's minds. And that's how you have success in this game. Because when I when I break down the film, I mean, Georgia Tech is just – they're headed in a really bad direction. There's no confidence on that side of the ball. The offense plays with some confidence. This side of the ball does not play with confidence. They have, like, false enthusiasm early. But as soon as teams start hitting them and putting, you know, putting something on them or putting points on them, they, man, they, they, they go down quick. So if they come out and make early stops, they're going to be fired up and excited and, and sound like they're, they're really getting after it. Uh, but if, if you come out early and, and put some plays on them and put some throws on them and put some big runs on them and jump on them early, they'll, 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 I don't say fold because they won't stop battling, but it'll get in their head and they'll just, it'll just snowball and you end up having a dominant performance. So when you look at this matchup as well, this is also advantage Notre Dame. 